roadmaps, Kevin. So you're building your roadmap, but how do you keep yourself from losing momentum? This week, I'll share with you a simple strategy that will work for you whether you're a one-man band or a thousand strong. The strategy will also ensure everyone stays focused and motivated along your journey. Last week, I showed you in a practical way how to start building your own roadmap. I also gave you a pretty cool freebie being our Excel-based roadmap template that you can use in your very own business. I showed you how the roadmap that you're creating is all connected. Each action step is connected to the who, the when, which is in turn connected to your quarterly goals, and ultimately, your yearly goal. You'll also have noticed that when framing our quarterly goals, we connect that to a theme for each quarter. I was first introduced to the concept of quarterly themes by Vern Harnish in his book, Mastering the Rockefeller Habits. Quarterly themes are designed to engage all employees of business in achieving the number one goal for that business in that quarter. Remember, this is going to help you whether you're a one-man band or a much larger business. The key here with your roadmap is you need to keep it fun. We often get too caught up in our final goal, we forget to enjoy the journey. Right now, the theme in our business is having the right roadmap. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you one of our most successful themes that we've had over the last five years. When our business was predominantly a financial services business, heavily reliant with meeting lodgement deadlines with the Australian Taxation Office, one of our themes was a Master Chef Challenge. This had absolutely nothing to do with the industry that we're actually in. Everyone's seen those cooking shows where contestants have to produce something fabulous, a fabulous meal, and at the end of the show, you get judged on it. Well, our Master Master Chef Challenge was something very similar. Our end goal was around creating a faster turnaround with on all of our work. We had some specific metrics around the number of jobs we wanted to have completed for the quarter. And this all sounds a little bit boring. So, and we could have pulled out the big stick and said, look, we've got to work harder, we've got to work longer. But how engaging would that have been? What our Master Chef Challenge achieved was a result far greater than even we expected. This was because everyone was far more engaged. So this is the way it actually worked. Each day, each team member would need to deliver an entree, a main, and a dessert. So in other words, each day at the start of the day, we would need to specify three jobs that we'd need to complete. Something big, your main, and two smaller things, your entree and your dessert. Now, we didn't want to keep our diners waiting, so we would actually nominate exactly what time of day each team member would be delivering their entree, main, and dessert. Each day we'd also nominate a head chef. Now, the head chef wasn't dependent on your existing role that you had within the business. Their sole purpose was just to quickly check in and make sure everyone was on track. So, throughout the day, you would hear one team member yell out, Entree ready chef. Main in 15 minutes chef. This was fantastic. It created an environment where everyone was having fun, they were accountable, and just like in the kitchen of a busy restaurant, we could all see and hear what everyone was going, what was going, how they were going, how they were doing. If someone was gonna be late on delivering their main, and someone was ahead on their orders, they would chip in and help that person out that was behind. Done in the right way, your theme will also help you build a culture of contribution. Everyone putting together to go beyond their personal goal, to achieve something for the greater good. And remember, you want to keep it fun. That's the key to keeping people engaged. You don't want your head chef to be talking like a Gordon Ramsay Otherwise, you risk your quarterly theme changing from MasterChef Challenge to My Kitchen Nightmares, and we don't want that. As a result of our particular theme, we were able to turn our jobs in a much faster time than even we thought we could. And our target, we just blew that out of the water. Remember, 
the advice I give you will only work if you implement it. It's only as good as its implementation. So go ahead and finalize that roadmap, connect your quarterly goals to your quarterly themes and blow your own targets out of the water. And be sure to keep it fun. If you want to understand some more around the science behind this, read Vern Harnish's book, Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, or his latest book, Scaling Up. They're both fantastic. And don't be surprised when you also find you can achieve much more than you currently imagine. Speak to you next week.